everything else. No. Everything plug. I'm an MBD EV or get you. Is it before wearing? Huh? Original connection. Okay. No way. Unplug it. Remove. Original. Nah. Just the uh, remove original plug is okay. Per plug is okay. It's optic fiber. This one. It need to move to Android plug in installation. Okay, it's Android maintenance. See you. The uh, EVO has uh, no AUX on car. Need to connect a USB audio box uh, where USB input uh, goes on. Let's check how to relocate optic fibers. First, remove it from original plug. This this one is optic fiber. This one. Okay. It's very important. If your car has optic fiber, you must relocate it from original plug to Android plug or else there's many issues such as no sound, no signal, and no I drive knob control, steering control, etc. Many functions uh, don't work. This is Android plug. Please pay attention. Must uh, use this, this, uh, uh, relocate it to this one, this plug. Okay, at this position. With the same position and the direction. Yeah, we located it into the uh, female plug of Android harness. After it, uh, optic fiber is plugged in, it will be locked. You can hear a sound. It shows it's locked, well plugged. It. Okay. Plug this one with optic fibers into original head unit. This step is very important also, must plug it in to 
head unit closely. Or else there is some problem with the sound and other issues. This optic fibers you need to pay attention to. If you have a optic fibers, relocated it into Android plug here. This is a 12.3 inch under screen bracket mount. After the wear plug is put here, then we can install it bracket first. Okay, bracket is put back. This seat, bracket seat well in the original car dashboard. Now we will fix it. We took screws here and here. Where you connect the uh, uh, plugs to Android screens, uh, place the uh, check it there, put it into the red connections and uh, plug a uh, uh, socket. After wearing connection to Android screen, let's test if the function is uh, okay. First. Uh, Power on. Okay, Android screen is power on. It works. Okay, the main menu and the main menu works. Uh, sure, so you can see. Okay, I drive. Let's check. check. I drive. Knob control. Okay. Working. Okay. And the uh, steering control mode. You can see. Okay. It works. And uh, no, we can we can hear some. Okay, we need to t uh, check it. And uh, now we switch to uh, regional radio. Okay, original radio yeah, manual. Uh, don't don't show where. Don't show correctly. So we check it in Android settings to. To select uh, the other car tabs one by one, you will. Okay, it's not working well. You can see. Well, let me show. Check another one. V 
can return and pay in full. Okay, it's not working. Okay, this one, it works. You can see it's showing correctly. Okay. Switch it to English. This is the original radio manual. No, it's showing correctly. You can see. Also, I don't know how controls works on original video systems. And we put a rear okay, okay. And we switch back to Android screen There is no sound okay, in Android, so we need to check. Automatic switch. We choose manual. Or manual. Choose USB. Oh, it's not tested. It's not a detected USB audio box. So that's probably Oh, no sound. Okay, we need to check the bearing again for this problem. Okay. The same problem if you encounter the no USB device connected, it means uh, okay, uh, audio USB box is not connected. Well, so no sound on Android. Okay, for uh, no sound, uh, it's just like we checked. We we, we think uh, there is a uh, uh, AUX uh, cables inside the original harness, so we we will remove the USB audio box from the bearing to see if it works. Okay. Okay, then we check sound. You see, it has sound. You, you see, it has sound though. No. Also, steering control work. Soldier. The size of an A music. So that, that means the, the car has uh, AOX 
uh, cables inside the original harness, so no need for this evil car audio, no need to install USB audio box for sound. So we will remove it. Okay, so but it should not be removed it. Okay. From their own connection. Now we put the original radio head unit back. You need to clear the space behind it first. But it's okay, there is enough uh, space uh, for the uh, keyboards, uh, uh, plugs behind it. Just put it uh, into the correct, uh, right place so the a head unit can be put back into place close, uh, wholly, completely, completely. You can see it's put back. Okay, let's just screw it up, fix it. Okay. Uh, this is a. Uh, Radio and uh, uh, air conditional panel. Just uh, put the uh, uh, plugs, plugs back. For uh, original socket. Do from time first. Okay, so this panel is put back. Okay. Then this fix and this goes to span. So this panel is uh, closed. Vent panel, air conditioner vent panel, and connections. Yeah. And this one. Okay, three, one, two, three. To avoid short circuit, we need to cap it or wrap it up with insulation tape. Okay. Because it has a pearl, a 12 voltage pearl on this cable. If this cable touch this this metal part, if this cable touch this metal part, it will the unit will be underscore will be burned. Okay, this panel, air conditioner vent panel is put back. Now we. Uh, Put the screen on the bracket mount. Next screen. This one. Okay. Uh, this, this, this is GPS. If your Android screen has a 4G, this is 4G antenna connection. This is uh, for USB. USB. This is USB. This is power plug here. This is LVDS. LVDS to here. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, very own connection on screen is finished. Let's put the uh, main screen back to seat. Uh, back to frame three. Seat is uh, uh, fixed. Uh, fixed. Uh, fixing. Um, make it uh, 
seat uh, on truck in the month. Seat bill. Let's make it sit on truck in the month. That's okay. It's finished. 